Assalamu alaikum, welcome everyone. Uh, this is Imran Hussain, and in my last video, I talked a bit about what hashing and encryption is. Let's see now how a hash really looks like. This is one of the many websites that generates hash for you if you write any text there. Um, I have selected SHA1 here, so it will generate a hash using SHA1 algorithm. Now I'm writing I am Imran. I'm clicking hash. Okay, this is the SHA1 hash for I am Imran. Let's copy this to my notepad. Okay, now let's just change this I to J. Okay, I've just changed only one letter, the hash. I'm copying it again. Control C, Notepad, Control V. You see, this these two things have a lot of difference between them. Like I've just changed one letter, but the hashes are like completely different. This thing here is known as the avalanche effect. A tiny stone is moved from its place and the whole mountain peak goes down. The same is true with SHA-2. Let's see. The SHA-2, okay, so let's select SHA-256 and let's write I am Imran. This is the SHA-2 hash for I am Imran. Let's copy this to my notepad. Okay. And then just change the i to j here and generate the hash it already looks different let's check it in the notepad see the whole thing is different the avalanche effect for you guys a point to be noted here is not all the hashing algorithms depend on this perceptual hashing like there are different hashing algorithms one of them is perceptual hashing the main idea behind perceptual hashing is that if two files are almost same their hashes will be almost same so if there are minimal differences the difference between the their their hashes will be minimal I tried finding websites that implements perceptual hashing for demonstration purpose but I haven't found any so I ended up writing my own well uh, perceptual hashing is pretty handy when comparing images let's say you have two images one with watermark on it another one does not have watermark on it they are basically the same right or you have two images one is 1080p and another one is the same image but in 768p or 480p if you do pixel comparison they won't match at all but the easiest for your computer to understand whether they are the same same image or not is just to generate and uh, generate and check their perceptual hashing perceptual hashes sorry uh, so let's run my application here uh, i'll click choose image one and i'll check i'll choose this image here this one is the bigger version of this image and let's choose the second image which is the df size one this these two with though they look same to our eyes but they are not the same let's go to the folder here one is div size and div size one the div size is of this size and the next one is of this size so let's see what our application says after the comparison I'm clicking on compare see this is a 98.4375 percent match so they are the same now they look good right let's check another the I have different versions of the same image the Justice League copy compare they have 96.87 percent match have another version of it this one compare 98 percent another one open compare 93.75 percent nice right perceptual hashing is so cool that most image search websites you have seen out there they utilize this perceptual hashing when i was working with the top part of my application this idea came to my mind like i can use this uh, to search for same similar images in my computer i can just i can build my own image search to search for similar images in my computer so i just i have just i just wrote it let's open an image the metallica my favorite image 
let's say the threshold is 90% so any image that has more than 90% match to it will be included in the result I'll open a folder where to look for the matches I'll say D drive and in images as you have already seen the images folder has a lot of images in it different images okay now let's run compare okay uh, the, the results have come div size div size one just the copy justice league Linkin Park nothing else matters three stooges cool our image the application works should we check it again let's go open image the images these are some photos of my brother's homework for his college let's select one of them and uh, let's say I want to help him find all the homeworks all the homework like pictures so let's lower the threshold to 85 because all the homeworks are not the same but they look similar right let's lower it a bit 84 open folder uh, this PC D drive images okay run compare okay the results have come now okay all of them in it right fall to one fall to two fall to three fall to four fall to five nice all his homeworks are here our applications were good okay so this is a success and i've uploaded this code to github and i'll post the link below so that you can check the code for yourself and if you want the application just just you you just uh, don't want to check the code you just want this application to play with i'll make an installation file and i'll post the link below as well so that was it for today thanks for watching thank you